Hello friends, welcome to my channel Hira Takis. In this video, let me explain how to implement Angular data table in Angular 17 standalone template. First, let me go to my application. So as I mentioned, I just created one brand new Angular 17 application for the designing point of view. I just installed the material UI. Okay. For the API purpose, we can use the JSON server API. So I have one JSON file there. I have included some sample data. Okay. So first let me start my APA. So if you not installed the JSON server, make sure you have to use the npm command and install the JSON server. Okay, our APA is ready. The next thing is we have to install the package of Angular data tables. So this is the command. I will include in our video description. Okay, the available latest version is 17.1. So we can install that. And the styling library, we can use the default uh, data table styles. Okay, the installation is completed. We can see the changes. So in our angular.json side, uh, it's included two script and also one CS file. Okay. And in this package.json, it's included this Angular data tables and this data tables.net and DT and also the jQuery. Okay. So next, let me go to our component side. So in this component point of view, I have created one component product. So in this HTML side, we just included this mat card. So here I'm going to have one table, okay? And let me define the columns. For the sample purpose, I'm going to have some basic columns, okay? Then we can have the fields are code, name, price, category, and status, okay? Okay, this is fine. Add then this T body. So T body we can generate from the uh, API data. So the next thing is uh, let me work for the services. First, I am creating one service file. Let me provide the name is master. Okay. So the service also generated. So if you are using the HTTP services, uh, make sure we have to import this. Provide HTTP client, okay. So next in our actual services, let me inject this HTTP client. So these are the common steps we have followed in many videos. So this is actually my function. And our method is get method. We know our API endpoint also. And we can define one model class, okay? So already we have a folder and I'm creating one model file okay so what are the fields uh, we are going to show uh, based on that we can define our model so in our db.json we can get the sample data so based on that I am just creating this model okay anyway most most of the fields are a string only and this price comes under the number and finally our status also comes under the boolean okay okay our model class also ready so let me include in our service head also it will return the list of data okay so next in our component side Implementing on in hook. 
also adding this constructor so in this constructor we can inject our master service okay and also I am declaring one variable and the data type is products and then writing one function load products from this function we can consume these services and there is no parameter also I just subscribed whatever value is coming that we can include our product list now we have our AP data into our local variable so let me take this one and next in our HTML side let me use this for loop okay since we are using this angular 17 uh, instead of using this ng for we can directly go with them this for syntax product list and in this track we can say item okay so let me remove this one so based on the data we are generating our tr inside that we can have the columns value item dot code okay so the same way uh, we can include the other columns also name price status so initially this much field is fine okay and the next thing is uh, we are using this angular data table so already we have installed the packages so in this import section we have to import this data table model okay I just saved call this function here from this ng on it this one also fine and declaring one variable dt options okay data type is config so the default value we can give the mtr okay so next let me copy this one and in our html side so in this table first i am adding this data table directive okay and then we can use this property binding so the property name is dt options the o should be caps okay so the same way we can declare one more variable that is dt trigger and this is the subject rsj is subject only data type is any so once we called this apa we can just trigger this one so it's expecting some value we can provide as the null that is fine we can map this uh, data trigger also in our table side again here also the t should be caps okay so the initial changes are uh, we have done uh, let me run the application and we can see the view so after that we can do the customization okay So we got one error 
and this library is unresolved okay actually it's added automatically while installing these packages so let me show you in our angular.json okay this is the cs file so we can check in the actual uh, node model folder okay this is the folder okay so we have the cs files but the names are different so that's what we got this error so let me copy this name and in our angular.json side I'm just changing this name it should be data tables dot data table dot min dot css okay I just save we can rerun once again okay uh, now there is no error okay see the screen uh, it's simply loaded but we have some error I believe so that's what uh, so DT options cannot be empty so then we can include some values for this DT the initial level itself so in our product component side so after calling our method we can use our DT options here first I am going to use this basing type okay the value I just provided full so let me save this one okay so the error got resolved and also see our uh, data is also binded okay so we can include some uh, CSS so that makes our UA better and it's applicable for GD and TH. See the design now? It's somewhat changed, okay? So we have the default uh, pagination and then the search and we have the sorting also. Let me show you. So we have a 12 records, see? So in this next page, uh, we can see these two records, okay? The pagination is working. So the same way, if I'm doing this sorting, it's working so let me do this search so the glove card so the search functionality also working fine so that means we have done the basic implementation so next we can see how to apply the customization okay so first let me start from this pagination so in this pagination type so initially I just have provided full okay so next we can provide full numbers we have some other options that I will include in this description see now we got these numbers okay and the next thing is if you are checking in this select we have the default value is 10 25 50 and 100 okay so this one also we can do the customization for doing this one we have to include this length menu property okay so here I am starting from the 5 10 15 25 now see now okay now we started from the 5 so it's taking the 5 as the default one so 10 okay this is working fine so currently it's showing five records for the page okay so in these options we have provided the first value is five so it's taken automatically okay so in case if you want to set some value as the default that also we can do so let me show you so before that I am including one more option okay eight okay let me provide page length equal to eight See now. So initial load itself, uh, it's loaded eight records for the page. Okay. Okay. 
and the final option is so in case if you don't want show the pagination so that also we can do so let me command all other options okay so defaultly it will show the pagination so what I'm going to do so let me use this paging option and provide it as false see now there is no pagination at the same time this sorting and this uh, search functionalities will work so the same way we can disable this sorting and this searching also ordering for this ordering let me provide false so the sorting is disabled see there is no option for sorting and the same way for this searching also I provided false see now the search option also gone so let me command everything anyway it's not needed for the knowledge purpose I just to share this information so, okay we can just uncomment the first two options so the next optimization we can do for this sharding so as of now it's shorted based on this the first column only I believe okay so let me change this into name for doing this one let me include this order property it is expecting input in array okay the position I given as one and the order I would say ascending see the chart from B so that's what it's coming like this okay otherwise if I'm changing this into price then let me change this position see it's in the ascending order so the same way we can change this into descending order also see so the next thing is we can disable this select option okay length change so if I'm given false see we don't have any select option but the pagination will work so anyway let me change this one okay we can have at least 10 records in the page okay okay this is fine add the next two properties scrolling okay so in case uh, if you are showing uh, more records in the same page let me command this one also so anyway I just to choose to 15 so if I'm choose 25 so in this scenario we will have more entries so even though if you are scrolling this header and the folder section also will scroll for avoiding that we can use the scroll uh, option scroll by minimum height I just set it 400 so you know okay now you can feel right otherwise if I am reduced into 300 then you know the better difference see so now we have completed this scrolling also so next in the searching side so if you want to provide some placeholder text that we can do search placeholder text so I would say enter product name see the placeholder text is coming so if I do the searching also it will work so finally we can include some action buttons also anyway once we are using this concept in the real-time application definitely we have include the action buttons so in this designing side I'm having two buttons okay mat raised button so actually this directive belongs to the material UI only
and adding one CSS. Okay, now we are good to go. See now, maybe this scrolling, let me command that. Okay, the design also looks good and also we have covered most of the topics. Still, if you have any doubts or clarification, please post in the comment box. And also, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching.